watching Laguna Beach in the hills growing up, I'm like, everybody needs a friend like Lo Bosworth. Like she, she is going to tell you like it is. Like I love the low eye roll. And like you were just always like the realest of the real on both of those series. And I, I don't know because I'm not in the reality TV world. I don't know how much of it is truly real or not. I was friends with one of the girls on the city for a while and she was like, oh yeah, producers like, you know, they finagle things and set things up and you know, whatever, what have you. But I always just got such a like grounded down to earth vibe from you when you were on those shows. A lot of the storylines were premeditated. Right. Or at least kind of, you know, like the character arcs and stuff of like, this is how we want this season to go. Right. (laughs) And they they just made stuff happen as they saw fit. It's just interesting to see everybody as we've aged. I think that's the most shocking thing to me, to be totally honest with you, because I feel like their personalities are probably the same, but just to see how different everybody looks compared to before 20 um, is, is really interesting. But listen, I like have always hoped for really great things for everybody that was on the show. As you guys know from being in Hollywood, it's really challenging to sort of move on in your life from Mm -hmm. some of these things. But I know that you guys are actors by trade. So like, this is like what, you know, you're committed to and passionate about, but being on reality TV is different. Like Mm -hmm. I didn't do it because I'm an actor or I want to be. I was 17 when they picked and picked us and they were like, hey, like want to do a TV show? <laughs> we're like, like, okay. That sounds cool. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Exactly. So, you know, um, my path has been kind of different. And I always wanted to go to university and to have a normal life. And so I just continued down that path while in parallel being on TV for a couple of years. But for mm-hmm. me, I find so much more fulfillment in you know, operating La Blomas every day and living in New York and Mm -hmm. uh, living my life on my own terms. Um, Yeah. It just, I feel more comfortable that way. And I realized quickly when I was on television, I was like, oh, I actually don't like being on TV. It's also so much more exposing. I mean, we were very exposed, uh, obviously, but we were playing characters that weren't named our same names. And when you're put in a situation, especially if you're 17 and reality, especially as it was 10 years ago, 15 years ago, it was very much not reality and a lot of scripted elements, as you just pointed out. So you're technically giving your namesake to a character that they're telling you to create versus who and how do you manage that? And then the exposure on you is on your person. So I would imagine it's even that much more. I think the weight of especially getting in so early at 17 and then having that exposure with your name connected to it, that would probably feel more like wow, I I can't go anywhere as me without being seen as this me that isn't me. I don't know. That's me putting words into your mouth, but. No, that's, you hit the nail on the head, 100%. (laughs) And so it's, so it's interesting to me to see the people that have chosen to continue to participate in the Hills. I'm like, wow, you guys are really leaning in. (laughs) (laughs) You're really leaning in to your TV persona for whatever reason, right? Like for paycheck, for attention, fame, whatever it is that you need that fulfills you, right? Mm-hmm. More so, I was just not interested in other people in an editing bay deciding, okay, for for Lauren, the person, who she, who, who we're going to present her as and what she's going to be doing. 